folks. Does the inverter generator really use less fuel than the synchronous generator? Both the inverter generator and the synchronous generator uses engines, gasoline engines of a similar design. Both have, have alternators. However, in the case of the inverter generator, uh, the inverter uh, produces uh, some losses and as a result the unit might under some conditions consume more fuel. In this video I will be searching to see uh, if in fact the inverter generator is more fuel efficient than the synchronous generator. I have before me here uh, my Wien 56225i inverter generator and this is a Sportsman GEN 2000. The Sportsman is my example of a synchronous generator and by synchronous I mean that the generator engine must run at 3600 rpm in order to produce 60 cycle power. However in the case of the Wien uh, the output power is produced electronically through the inverter, so the speed of the engine is not important uh, so long as the alternator speed is high enough to produce the necessary electrical power. So, how do we measure consumption rate? Should be easy. The load for the generator is set up using my homemade load bank. The, the load bank is a box filled with heating elements salvaged from an electric furnace unit. The toggle switches on the top allow me to connect the heating elements in parallel and series arrangements to set the desired load for the generator. The cooling fan for the load bank is powered from a receptacle here in the shop and the power for that fan does not come from the uh, generator being tested. Now in this particular project I used a calibrated a calibrated uh, auxiliary fuel tank uh, and the method used was that uh, the generator, the fuel, ta the auxiliary tank was connected in place of the main fuel tank and filled with fuel. Then the engine was started and allowed, the generator was allowed to stabilize. And then uh, uh, once I reached a significant marker point on the calibration I would read the level in the unit and this one at the top is 300 milliliters and start my stopwatch then I would let it run for say oh 10 15 maybe 20 minutes and then read again the fuel level in this auxiliary tank and shut the engine down knowing the length of time that the engine had run and the amount of fuel consumed during that time, then I could calculate the uh, consumption rate. And this particular method seemed to give me good repeatable results when, when the engine was loaded a second time and run for a second cycle through, through a test. I decided to do my my fuel test at two load levels. The um, first test w was of approximately 450 watts in this and the second was at uh, approximately 900 watts. The 450 and 900 watts represent approximately a 50 percent and 100 percent loading for this little sportsman and a quarter loading and 50% uh, loading for the, for the wing. Now, watching a fuel test is about as interesting as watching paint dry, so 
I'm going to give you several clips during the, uh, that were made during the testing process, uh, starting with the wean generator. First, you will see the generator is loaded to about 464 watts. And in the second clip, we will show the unit loaded to about 905 watts. Note, please, as you, as you see this, it will only be on screen for a few seconds, but please note the stable operation of the power monitor on, on the load bank and the smooth waveform as seen on the oscilloscope. Well, we've been operating the wean unit at about 464 watts uh, for about 20 minutes now. It's really been extremely stable. Here's the auxiliary fuel tank. A little hard to see, I'm sorry to say, but top marking on it is about uh, 300 milliliters of fuel and the very bottom marking is uh, 50 milliliters and all we were doing is making a T into the original fuel line and so the fuel instead of coming from the tank is coming from this auxiliary auxiliary online being fueled from an auxiliary fuel source Now I will shift video clips to the testing of the, sport, the Sportsman GEN 2000. First this generator is operated at about 464 watts, then in another clip it's loaded to around 850. Unfortunately the load, uh, the power monitor is uh, oscillating up and down so it's hard to know exactly what the wattage is, but the switches were set the same at, on the load bank as with the wean unit, but the unfortunately the stability for the sportsman is not nearly as good. The 850 watt plus or minus load on the, is near the limit for this uh, power capability, um, and so it does seem to waver a bit. If you look up the specifications on this Sportsman unit, uh, the manufacturer claims it's rated for an output of 1400 watts. But the most I've been able to uh, get out of this unit is about 1000 watts. And uh, also if you notice in the last qu clip when it's most heavily loaded, the output voltage is dropped from a nominal let's say 120 volts down to around 115 or 116 volts. So I believe we're operating very nearly the limit of the load capacity of the small sportsman unit. Now let's talk about the results of the testing that, that I carried out. 
I uh, put those in a spreadsheet which you see in front of you here. For, we'll start with the wean unit and uh, here on the uh, August 20th um, is, is the results for a test and the load was approximately 464 watts. When we started the test there was 300 milliliters of fuel in the, cell, in the auxiliary tank and at the end of the test there was 110 milliliters meaning that we consumed 190 um, milliliters and the time that this test ran uh, was 24 minutes and 59 seconds so then this was converted into ounces of fuel consumed from milliliters which came out to be 6.42 and and working with this figure then the consumption per hour is projected as being 15.43 ounces per hour now uh, on the 23rd of the month uh, I did the test again similar technique this time it ran for exactly 24 minutes I consumed 180 milliliters and the consumption figure uh, was estimated at 15.22 uh, milliliters or excuse me ounces per hour so I averaged the two and that came out to be 15.32 ounces per hour based on these two tests with a load of 465 464 approximately uh, watts load and I used a conversion factor here look at one milliliter is a 0 0.03381 and on and on um, ounce liquid ounces okay also on the same dates on the 20th I did, did a test uh, again on the wean at 908 watts of load and the test ran for 17 uh, minutes and 14 seconds and the uh, estimated consumption was per hour was 25.9 and uh, on the 23rd another test was done and if this time the consumption was estimated at 25.4 so results are fairly consistent and again the average is um, 26.65 ounces per hour for the wean unit now if we look at the results for the for the sportsman again a test was done on the 20th and the 23rd and at first it was about 485 the next time the test was around 451 again the the load was not was not changed the load bank setting was not changed but um, it may have been a slight difference in the uh, voltage from one time to the next the, the loading had shifted a little bit uh, the consumption here was uh, 28.18 ounces per hour and uh, the second test on the 23rd it was 25.72 so then the average uh, with about a 450 480 watt load was 26.95 ounces per hour and also on the same dates on the 20th and the 23rd a uh, test was done with the unit loaded at about 833 889 uh, watts and the average fuel consumption uh, for those two tests was 36.11 ounces per hour so what are the results well in summary in summary uh, at a load of about 460 watts give or take the consumption was 76 percent more fuel for the sportsman as compared to the uh, wean unit and a load at around 900 850 900 watts the sportsman consumption was 41 percent more fuel 
So the test is obviously not what I expected. The maximum efficiency of the synchronous generator usually occurs when the unit is operated at full load. So I expected the, the sportsman generator at full load to have an efficiency equal to or maybe even greater than the wean unit, but that didn't happen in my tests. I would not expect there to be a great difference in the efficiency of the gas engines used in the two generators. Perhaps the difference is in the efficiency of the alternators. The sportsman alternator uses uh, generated power to create the magnetic field, while the alternator of the wean unit has permanent magnets to produce the magnetic field in, in the alternator. Again, this is perhaps, 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 I really don't know. We do know that uh, on inverters, the manufacturers have claimed efficiency in the upper 90% range. Frankly, I, I, I don't have a good explanation for the test results. However, based on the two generators tested, the wean generator definitely had a superior fuel economy over the sportsman. I thank you for watching. I hope that you found this uh, video of some use and hope to you will uh, view again. Thank you. Bye-bye.